Now, back with us is our resident vet, Alex Melrose, and dog trainer, Kelly McFarlane. How are you both? Great, thank you. Awesome. <laughs> really nice to have you in here. And you've brought a special guest in, I think, really, we could say the star of the show. Yeah, absolutely, Definitely. today. Definitely. That's Cassie, yep. She's just <laughs> gorgeous. She's very cruisy. She seems very laid back with everybody. She's very laid back, yeah. She's also used as a therapy dog, so hence why she's uh, nice and peaceful. <laughs> oh, lovely. Now, what are we going to talk about today? Today, it's all about muzzling. After I, I saw a video from Auckland Council, okay. and I just felt it would be a really good topic to have a chat about, and certainly from Alex's um, opinion as well. Yeah. So you, we've got this video. Let's take a look at it. You can you tell me why you don't think it's a good idea. I mean, what he, he does do is partly correct with regards to her standing behind the dog and popping the muzzle on and demonstrating how to do it. On the flip side of that, however, I just feel Auckland Council have missed the point a little bit with teaching people how to actually get the dog conditioned, first of all, to get used to the muzzle. And, you know, what you don't want to do is what that gentleman does there is almost stick his fingers inside the mud muzzle. So. Yeah. Okay, so is it working? Put my fingers yeah. in there. Oh, yeah, not, obviously not very well. Not, not quite what you want to do. Okay, yeah. so you think that's not a good idea. What do you think you should do to get a dog? When is it a good idea to use a muzzle first? Over to Alex. Uses well, it more than anybody. Yeah, probably. look, hey, it's a really valuable <laughs> tool in the clinic. And you, look, as, as good a vet as you are, um, you know, you're going to get dogs that come in. <laughs> I like how you keep a straight face there for a while. Um, you know, you're going to get some dogs that will come in and, and, and be anxious because of past things mm. that have happened to them or, or just the, the, or their if you nature. Touch them on a, on a place where they're sore, they can go for a yeah, bit of a nip, can't they? If they're in pain, exactly. Mm. And people often say to me, oh, you know, my dog would never bite. But, you know, if it's just been run over by a car and it's in a lot of pain, it, it, it probably would if you, as you say, if you mm. touch in the wrong place. So, so we use muzzles. We just make sure that we, we use them very gently. We don't want it to, to turn into a big wrestling match with the dog. So, what Kelly was raising before about conditioning your dog to get used to having to put a muzzle on occasionally is a really good thing for us as vets, it helps us, you know. And also for the dogs, it reduces stress levels for yeah. the dogs, especially if they are in pain. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What do you think, Kelly, should you be using a muzzle when you're out walking your dog on a day-to-day -day basis? Is, there, is that necessary? I don't think it's necessary. I think, I think the key thing really is, um, you know, for some dogs, unfortunately, they, they have to wear a muzzle. Yeah, and, there's a lot and of talk about dangerous dogs at the moment too, is, isn't yeah. there? Yeah, and so I fully understand that, but for, you know, dogs that who are, you know, so like Cassie and... Um, really are really dangerous good looking. With, yeah, and, and also it comes down to owner education as well, knowing when to read your dog and what size to look for. I think if you can do that, you shouldn't need to be muzzling your dog. Okay, yep. well, Cassie looks good. Do you want to give us a little demo, a quick yep. demo on how to get a muzzle on? We'll see if she'll wake up, huh? <laughs> she's obviously very anxious Cassie. in the studio with yeah. all the lights yeah. at the moment, isn't she? Oh, thank you. Oh, she's gorgeous. Good girl, you're going to sit. More than anything, when you're going to teach the dog how to get used to the muzzle, you're not going to start forcing it on. We're actually using one today, which is called a Baskerville. So, um, as you can see, there's lots of gaps in it as well. And all we're doing is, first of all, you just start to show the dog um, the muzzle. So they start to associate it with obviously some cheese or something really nice. And then gradually you go towards them. Oh, you're so good, aren't you? And now she's desperate to get the so cheese. Good good, good, good. Clever girl. Right, then just slowly get it on. And then gradually you'll bring up the straps. Okay. And so, in, and then in the end, you'll clip it on, which we'll do. Oh, sorry. We we probably won't bother with that one right now. I no, think, that's all right. She's really into. She's really into the treats. <laughs> she's we very happy the about the tree. Yeah. We see what you need to do. Oh, it's been lovely having so you guys good. in here, and that's Thanks. very interesting. And also, it's been really nice having Cassie in here. Absolutely yeah. lovely. Now, Cassie can help us choose pet of the week. Uh, to our pet of the week, which had th is these three gorgeous fur babies belonging to oh. Kim Meredith from Mount Maunganui. Now you'll receive a $50 gift pack from Canine Natural. Congratulations. And if you would like to enter your pet, simply load a photo of your pet to our Facebook page for your chance to win. Hey, thank you so much for coming in, Alex and also Kelly and cool. Cassie. Of course. A pleasure. You can all come back anytime, particularly <laughs> Kelly and Cassie. <laughs> <laughs> and you're, you're allowed as well, Alex. You're allowed as well. <laughs>